Alrighty tidy. We're here. We're playing campaign again. Because I have mentally and emotionally recovered from cram meter. So that's wonderful. Let's tell everybody that this is happening via the social media. Do 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 do. And once again, we are reminded that From the Depths does indeed have a soundtrack. finding stuff to look at later. Hello, Aperture! <laughs> For anyone who's watching uh, now or in the future, Aperture Gaming is the one who uh, uh, made that this custom campaign, so... Great, like, you know, great privilege to have you in the chat uh, watching along with us. Thank you for making this. Hello, Marcel, Ichwurzel, Hyperbeam, Ichwurzel. Due to crappy laws here. Oh, no! Oh, Korean residents can't produce or view. That sucks. Can't produce or view Twitch vods. Wait, so not even if they're uploaded to YouTube later? Oh, that sucks. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing all right. Um, I accidentally woke uh, my sister slash uh, flatmate up earlier because I uh, accidentally pulled a drawer. Uh, out in the bathroom and made an almighty mess and loud noise but aside from that feeling good okay thank goodness thank goodness all right well sucks to that sucks but at least there's ways around it let's uh we should start i think let's see how many people are here oh my <sighs> hang on just i need to Log into friggin... I need to log into Twitch chat. <sighs> because OBS said I forgot about this. I really should friggin... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, everyone. Uh, I should have done this before. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Okay, here it is. <sighs> Oh, thanks, Ichwurzel. <laughs> Okay. All right, well, jeez. Okay, whatever. I'll just I'll do, I'll deal with this later. Uh, I'll deal with this later. We got a stream to do. I'll just have to look at uh, the web browser instead. Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. What a start. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Do, 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 Right. Yep. Okay, let's, let's just, let's just, let's freaking start. Let's freaking start. Yo. <sighs> let's begin. We have been streaming for almost five minutes. All right. New campaign. The Caravonia Rebellion awaits. Welcome to Caravonia, a massive archipelago situated in the middle of the Maelstrom Ocean in the world of Mundus. With the recent discovery of abnormally large reservoirs of valuable resources, 
global superpowers from across the world have rooted their colonies here and now fight amongst themselves in the heart of Caravonia in hopes to bring these riches to their homes to fill their coffers and feed their industry. It is up to you, the leader of the newly founded resistance movement, to reunite your faction and drive the greedy powers away from your home. The Caravonian Rebellion. Embark on a grand campaign as the commander of the splintered resistance of the Federation of Caravonian Islands. Lead your armies against the seven foreign powers in a separatist faction and reclaim this archipelago for its people. This custom campaign is expected to be easier than neater. Disclaimer, it is strongly advised to not use EMP of any kind as none of the vehicles here have surge protectors. Do they not? I think I saw... Ah, oh, never mind. Um, yeah, so no EMP. We're not going to be using uh, any of that. And yes, um, Aperture has uh, warned me ahead of time. There's grammar, there's proofreading and stuff like that, so I'm not going to be mean about that. And, uh... Yeah, so let's launch. And let's just go use custom settings. Let's growth factor up to major. Leave that, leave that. Leave that. Yeah, let's just do that. Alright. So what do we got? What do we got here? We've got a lovely little uh, Port Revenstone. Federation of... Uh, whoops. Gazing at the cove of Karen's crater through your office window, you contemplate what you did wrong to have your second in command betray you and take most of the commanding officers from you. All that remains of your seemingly promising Caravonian resistance is a handful of militiamen, a few boats, and Rivenstone, the capital city of the Federation of Caravonian Islands. However, now is not the time to drink your ales away. You still have more than a million people who are subjugated by the seven factions that are looking up to you. It is time to harden your determination, rebuild your armed forces, and drive back the invaders from your archipelago. But first, the resistance separatists led by your former second command is an issue as his armies surround the Karen's Greater. How will you deal with them? Well, what's our budget? We've got a bunch of commodities, we have a Manta Glass Corvette, and we have a patrol group. Well, the first thing we're going to do is build a cargo craft. Let's just pull everything out. We're going to go over here, and I am going to be going back and forth quite a bit. Uh, between... Does this have repair tentacles? I hope so. It does not. That is annoying. Alright, we're just gonna have to duct tape some... Right here. <laughs> okay. There we go. Hey, hello, Stilvaris. Since the CC is easy, well, I'm not in the mood to be challenged. And here's the thing: we can always, um, we can always up the challenge later. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Right, well, like, you know, everyone blamed Aperture for that. <laughs> now watch me get destroyed. Okay, let us... Uh, do I have scout craft? I think I do. Support aircraft, let's go. We've got a spy blimp, let's go. Let's just make one of those, because they're cheap. How, whoops, how expensive is the Quetzal? Quetzal is a little bit pricey. Right, so cry scrap ooh, hello. Alright, let's just what are we doing? What are we doing? Right, so so sorry, uh let's go. I think these guys Interesting, we're actually doing pretty well on that front. I want to spawn in as well. Probably shouldn't do this. It's probably a bit much. Let's go... What is our cheapest thing? Our 
cheapest thing is that amphibious tank that I have. Where is it? Where did I, where did I put it? I put it here. Uh, we cannot afford one of those yet, so I'm just going to speed up time slightly. Do -do 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 -do. There's old diplomacy, so feel free to spend your commodities. Oh. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Whoa, that was a bit too fast. Do, 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 all right. Well, you know what that means. I am going to spawn in the Adeli. Did I? I did. Always forget to do this. Uh, let's go. And fast forward. No time diplomatic me. Oh, gotcha. Righty ho, righty ho, righty ho. Oh, and they're doing stuff. Why can I not capture this? Interesting. Oh, it's... What the hell's that? Fleet beer. Okay. Oh, hello. Light carrier. Well, let's have a look at this. Let's see here. These are actually kind of big. Kind of big, mean, mighty unclean. Maybe I shouldn't have... Uh, Turn the whole thing up to max. Alright, how are we doing for materials? Oh boy. <laughs> They're preset fleets, alright. Gotcha, gotcha. And the other factions are going to be fighting each other, right? Um, it would be kind of annoying if they didn't do that. Let's see. Spy Blimp is being a spy. How big is this map? This map's quite big, and it's starting to get busy. Also, we're right in the middle. That's super cool. That is the coolest. I'm not being facetious. I think it's like, yeah, actually, you know what? It's all right. It's all right. We actually are like this resource zone is Port Revenstone is actually harvesting quite well. Right, so this is the fun but how are those breadboard skills coming along? They haven't progressed much because uh I've only basically just recovered from being kinda of burnt out on From the Depth, so I haven't been doing new stuff with breadboard. Um I've just been just been kind of um I don't know, plodding along um, with stuff. Why is this taking so long? Right, and so, uh, Aperture, I know you said that I shouldn't use lasers in this either, but I do need a fast attack craft, and this is what I've come up with. There we go. Okay, feel free, right. Custom campaign. Okay, speed up time again. We're just gonna sit and hang out for a bit.
So stupid that OBS sometimes logs you out of Twitch chat and everything else just works fine. Enemy attack is imminent in in-game time, two hours. Okay. Oh dear. <coughs> we should be okay. We're gonna have one Adeli and one uh, laser swordfish. Uh, cheapest craft in this campaign... Um, cheapest combat craft is the Adeli, which is around just under uh, 80,000 materials. Uh, it's also, well, it is literally a tank and it's amphibious, which is quite convenient in this instance because we've got a little uh, archipelago here. Oh my, Pallet Town, I see you, Aperture, I see what you're doing. In San Cordova, Viridian, oh, someone's a Pokemon fan. Someone is a Pokemon fan. I friggin' love that spy blimp. <laughs> That's so useful. Uh, what are you... Yeah, we are quite literally surrounded by the Separatists, so... Alright, so the Adeli is still doing stuff. Right. Friggin' UI doing stuff. Uh-oh. We're running out of materials. Uh-oh. We should be fine. We should be fine. Yep, okay, there's the Adeli. Oh, that's why we're running out of materials, because the friggin' tank's been made. Well, we should be okay. I'm trying to rem remember if the Adeli has proper missile defense. I think it- I think it does? Uh, hello, Zicargo. Yes, you caught a strim. Yay! <laughs> it's for like, yay, it's fun when people notice the Easter eggs you put. Uh, let's see. What the hell? Oh, no, I hate this. Oh, no. That's oh, because the friggin' Adeli, I think, has repair tentacles. That's so annoying. What are you... No, you fool. You damn fool. Oh. That's why. Oh, that's a... I need to need to save that. I need to say I always forget to do this. Right, and I'm just gonna save you like so whoops, where are you? Really should be saving these all in the same place. Uh, this is uh this is our support uh, vessel in case anyone's wondering. This is the Marlin. It's it is a it's a fish. <laughs> it is a delicious fish. Okay, go away, please. All right. Oh, this is not smart. I've made a classic rookie error. Has this uh, material thing run out of... Oh my god, okay. I think I got greedy. Oh, damn it. Uh, what was that about uh, scrapping some of the RTGs? I might need to do that, actually. Uh, there we go, let's just do this. Where are the RTGs? Oh yeah, wow, that's that's a lot. Uh, let's see here, what power requirements? 30 of 30 power... Da -da 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 -da. Math, math, math. Okay, yeah, we can get rid of some of these. Right. Just get rid of two of them for new. Listening. 
And I'm just gonna sit and build up my forces a little bit. Fill. Fill, I say. Fill. Check one of the skyscrapers. Yep. Yep. It's the flyfish. Uh, I'm gonna save the game here. Rebellion 1. Let's call it that. There we go. And yeah, this is the, the not incredibly exciting part of the campaign. Which is basically just waiting around for stuff to happen. And incoming attack is gonna... Okay, well... Let's see... Missile boat squadron... You know what? I might just... I might just poke the bear a little bit since we're here. Save the game. I know I just did that, but I want to do it again. And yeah, I do want to go Blitzkrieg on them, because how dare they? Moving out. And you get to see the swordfish in action, and I hope this thing doesn't run out of materials en route. Hey, the music's fun. Did you see some rare achievement hunter got baited into playing from the depths? Oh no. That's uh that's gonna be unfortunate for them. Because uh from the depths achievements are weird, let's say. Alright, let's see information, world economy, relationships. Oh <laughs> Oh, I love this. The, this anime ass thing. Uh, let's see, it's the, where's the Separatists? Wee, okay. Yeah, it's like, what achievements are there for From the Depths, really? There's like, there's only like, I don't know, one or two, actually. I think. I think. I don't know. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. I am just out. trolling Moving around out. on you. Lift me. Lift me. Moving out. All right. So this is the point where uh, I get to troll people with lasers. How many is that? Right, so I'm reasonably proud of this guy. And he should be mostly missile proof. There we go. So, armed with lasers, air superiority thruster craft. doing is actually dodging most of the missiles which is great fun or not or walking straight into them needs work are these IR missiles or are they radar guided missiles is the question Are we burning through our materials very quickly? Yes, we are. Yes, those appear to be IR guided missiles. That is actually a problem for us because we're running on jets and running hot. I need to bring in the Adeli. I think I've bitten off more than I can chew. We might run out of juice for this. Or not. Where are you, mate? <laughs> there you are. How 
how big are those missiles? They're not that big. Also, we're shooting off their turrets quite easily. Achievement for each faction HQ on each difficulty. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Well, all the best luck to that achievement, Hunter. I've never cared one bit about achievements in, uh, in video games. It's just... It's just not, like... It's just not... Have we killed any of these things yet? Or are we just... Damaging a whole bunch of them. I think we're mainly just damaging a whole bunch of them. Uh, hopefully they don't sink. Oh, are you going to run into land? That'll be hilarious. If you do, you're not going to. Or are you? Are you going to go Bob Bob? Yeah, so, um... Making a laser air superiority craft is mostly because of the uh, PTSD I have from playing Finest Hour and having to deal with small, virtually indestructible planes uh, without hitscan weapons. Gotta say, like, not my Finest Hour. <laughs> eh, you do it. I think we're going to manage it, because we have basically crippled these guys. Or not. One of them still got its, uh, its Wii missiles firing. Oh, never mind. This one has stopped firing its Wii missiles. Right, I'm going to actually start interfering here. I think. Or not. Yes! Yes, and that's another thousand materials with which we can use to cook little ships. Let me show you this guy off a little bit. This is just the campaign where I make flying fish a lot. And... Yeah, the main problem with using lasers on aircraft, especially small aircraft, is that lasers are best uh, when they're big, and they're kind of bulky, so... Ye... Titans. Ooh! Oh, okay. Interesting. I need to go check out the From the Depths achievements, because apparently I haven't been paying attention. Also, this has been a complete and utter ass-whooping, and I love it. So, here's the thing. I actually really appreciate uh, this campaign um, being easier than neater and being designed that way, because, you know what? I don't know when it happened, but, like, I stopped being impressed by things being difficult. And I think that's something to do with the fact that um, I have been told straight up by someone who... Uh, designs video games for a living is that it's not hard to make a game hard. Like, that's not impressive. It is really hard to make a game that is fun and still challenging enough to feel like an accomplishment. That's hard as balls. But that's subtle. And I think uh, I am gonna done goof myself enough within this campaign so there will be some adversity. So no worries, guys. No worries. Lasers? Lasers! Yep. Yeah, that is the problem with Nita, is that, like, the people giving the most feedback uh, in Nita are people, are veteran players who basically have completely forgotten what it's like to be a new player at all. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, that is an issue. Uh, because, um, it means that new players are really really screwed. Okay, please do not... Alright, so I'm just going to quickly add more material storage to this fella. Uh, because that's a good idea. And just like so, 
Oh, there we go. How does that improve things? Improves things quite a bit. And let you get up to max speed. Yeah, that'll do. And save vehicle. Aircraft, thruster craft, swordfish, and ball. Now we wait for them to come to us. Yes. Moving out. Who is going to poke their beak over here? Anyone? <laughs> Hell, my phone was making a weird buzzing noise. And it wasn't ringing. Yep. Oh yeah, Forex 4 lasers. I do like them. I do like them. They're just... It fits that sweet spot of just, you know, doing stuff. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, let's go... Let's go raiding with the swordfish a little bit more. Let's see. What's this? Is this small? Oh, it's a blockade runner. Perfect. Actually, I'm going to send the Adeli uh, just over here. What do I want to deal with first? Narco Sub Wolf Pack? Okay, yep. Oh, that's a from the depths of music I'm hearing. Okay. Right, let's just accelerate a little bit. Yep. Yeah, I'm raiding with a laser with a laser jet fighter. What about it? I do that. I'm reformed. I no longer rely on crams or everything. And this is our little blockade runner. It's interesting and just like trying to like focus on like using APS and lasers um, just basically off camera I'm understanding why like people when they start with those they never look back don't get me wrong I still love crams and I will till the day I die but man oh man Hang on, I just realized something. It's uh, let's try this. Am I dead? No? Okay. Nope, okay. Friggin' OBS. Okay. Uh, excuse me, just trying to do, like, tech support while I'm live streaming. That's just fine. <laughs> Crams would be better for this role. Well, no, because they miss all the time is the thing. Especially on something like, um, the Swordfish. This thing is like, well, look at the stability. Like, it's 50% stability. And, like, even with lasers, it's missing shots. So I don't think so, actually. <laughs> also, hello, Ohm. <laughs> Over overkill commerce radio. Well, yeah. Zap, 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 zap. So I love this thing. I love the stupid faces I put on these. Whee! Oh, magnet crumbs. Yep, magnet crumbs. That's best. So, hello, Gamma Paladin. First time chat. Welcome to the stream. We have fun here.
See, I'm trying to remember, does this guy aim for hot blocks or clusters of blocks? Because hot blocks would actually make a lot of sense because it's using IR trackers. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Oh, nope, it is. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, it's targeting hot, 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 hot blocks. Which is, oh yeah, that's why it's like immediately punched a hole in the engine compartment. It, this doesn't feel like it's killing things fast, but it is. <laughs> it actually is. You can see that delicious block confetti. Now I really want to make it just... Uh, I know that lasers are like... Not cheaty, it's just like this campaign's not designed with like strong laser craft in mind, I guess. I don't know, Aperture can probably describe it better. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> Completely Innocent Fisherman is definitely more fun. Yeah, that is right. And I just remembered I need to move... Chat back to the middle. Uh, I actually discuss efficiency... Real answer, well, yeah, the, like, you know, it... Where the hell? Listening. Moving out. Ah, there you are. All right. So let's see here. What is this? Power plant. Power plant. Defender turret. Defender turret. Let's uh, let's. Moving out. Moving let's out. Let's go mess with them a little bit. Let's go have a mess. Might need to go run uh, back over there to uh, assist the Adeli. All right. When the base is destroyed, retaliation fleet spawn. Okay. Do do do. Let's see here. Can the swordfish do a swordfish? And we're just gonna do that. Do that too. And I'm gonna have to request that you aim for this guy. Let's see, what are we dealing with here? Lots of heavy armor, that's annoying. I might need to jump off my jet fighter to make this quicker. here. Actually, taking out the, uh, the power supply of this is probably a good idea, because this is a fortress. If it loses power, it gets destroyed. Maybe armor, not our best move here. Okay, so yeah. Future reference, Swordfish is not the best craft for this, because uh, it's going to take a while to chew through that. Which means I'm going to bide my time here. And I'm going to hop off and do some lovely uh, raiding. Here we... Ah, perfect. Not you, not yet. Or maybe yes, you. Whee! Hello! <laughs> okay, let's see. 
what's in here? That's RTGs. If I was an AI, where would I be? I would be... I don't know where I'd be, actually. Where would I be? No spoilers, please. No spoilers, Aperture. Right, I'm just gonna... Okay, I did it. Jolly good. Right, and now we're just gonna let our, uh... Let our friend do zappy zaps on that turret. Because apparently she does just fine with that. Coop. Okay. <laughs> you get half a mark, Tolroth, for that. Alright, let's see here. I think. It's similar to. Yep, there it is. Easy. Now we're gonna go for a lovely swim over here. Lovely swim. Rambot being commando. Rambot wears underpants though, just so everyone is aware. In case anyone's wondering, I am gonna scrap these things and uh, run the hell away. <laughs> because I'm cool like that. <laughs> okay. I am loving that the swordfish is, per is perhaps a uh, complete overkill for this campaign, but you know what? It's nice to test her out. Made it. And straight down. And let us hop back on you. And we just get to watch you die. Okay. Okay, alrighty. Right, so uh, taking this thing's power out is perhaps not the best move. Actually, it is the best move. Take out enough batteries, it'll be fine. Maybe I will be a pirate. Yar. Where are ya? There ye are. Tactical relocation. Warp rods work on... Ooh... Ah uh, yes, it's not retreating, it is charging in the opposite direction. Wait for it, now. We uh oh. Little bit mooch. Right, and I know where the AI is, therefore I will shoot it. Please, I do not laser me, please do not laser me. Oh, hello. Clever. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt a lot, actually. This friggin... The fact that the, U that the view gets stuffed up by... Oh, this sucks. Okay, let us uh, scrap all of this. Pull all. Hold on. Scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap that. And scrap that. And you are not a cargo craft, but you can go num 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 a little bit. And you can go support that fella. And I'm going to send you over there. What is that? That is a Manta Class Corvette. Actually, you can go intercept him. Actually, you can capture that. 
lightning. I'm gonna go sit on you because I think you can move faster than what you're doing. you are at your optimal altitude this is why I love sail powered craft okay well, let's save you like so and before you crash into the friggin ground there you go okay not ideal but it'll do Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. All right. Whoops, 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 whoops. All right, let's see if the Adele. Ooh, what's that? Popola. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'll kill it. And I'll kill it before their friends show up. I think that's a torpedo bomber, actually. Uh, those are the beep, 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 the teleporting crap. Ooh. Whoop, you too. Alright, so for those of you who don't remember the Adeli, I built this thing ages ago uh, when I was initially preparing to play this campaign and then that didn't happen and all I've really changed is that she's got a longer barrel now. Those aren't heat rounds, are they? Nope, it's... F okay. W well, no worries. Yay, collisions! Actually, these guys would be terrifying against light aircraft, but, uh... Oh no, I'm already missing my lasers. So, if anyone doesn't know, the Adeli is packing generalizer rounds, which means she's equally bad against absolutely everything. Okay, can you please shoot the thing that's closer to you? Whoa, she does not pack much materials. Just realized. Thankfully, tank is tank. <laughs> this could take a while. I do love these little planes, though. They're great. And Death Spiral, my favorite. Oh boy. Am I spoiled by lasers? I think I might be. Uh, what are you doing exactly? Why are you... Hang on. You are pissing off... You must get... Closer to the people, thank you. Yay, Starry Night! It is a great day to. Did everybody catch the penguin noises that happened when the the Adeli spawned in? Oh boy! <laughs> Aircraft squadron leaders. Ooh, interesting. Hello, Jack Cavalier. Wait a minute. Wait a friggin' minute. Okay, no, you are turning. Bravo, and well done. Alright, well, the the Adeli absolutely cleaned up that. Uh, what is this? That's uh, actually a huge amount of stuff. Uh-oh, I don't think the Adeli can... Uh... Alright, so you need to take these guys on. And then you need to run over and help the Adeli immediately. Because <laughs> air, air support needed. Air support needed. Uh, no, damn it. You go over here. There we go. And I never am pointing in the correct way. There we go. This little dude is a Corvette. 
and Corvette is immediately crippled, which is what we like to see. How much did we spell? Oh, yep. All right. So uh, this was not a fair fight because the um, uh, the the uh, the swordfish is a big ass laser. Gun. Oh yeah, Tolroth, Patreon perk, named after you. <laughs> what are they separating from? Hmm. Yeah, dee 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 dee. like these crop uh one of the things i like about this campaign is that it's got a kind of command and conquer feel to it it's just like the designs are like aesthetically and structurally kind of simple and like i don't know it just reminds me of old school cnc and it makes me happy oh <laughs> uh, yay Let's see are these things actually gonna hit us they are, and they're not really going to do anything except knock, knock the rubber off. Now I really want to make a, like, a hash spamming, uh, a hash spamming gunship, because that would be really funny. <laughs> In case anyone's wondering, yes, I am working on a battleship uh, for this campaign specifically. Uh, I might need to rethink it because lasers might be too strong, so I might uh, replace uh, the lasers on it with particle cannons, which, I don't know, are slightly guilt-free in the sense that they have no hard counters and it's like hard to design craft to specifically be resistant to them anyway, apart from just being huge. So, ye. Yay. Let's three. Yay! Command and Conquer Pokemon. I'm liking this custom campaign. And not just because I'm currently, like, kicking, uh, kicking ass. Because this is the first faction. There are some scarier things. There's a battleship. I don't remember which faction it is. But, um, yeah, it's packing a lot of lasers and particle cannons. So, yeah, that'll be fun to fight later. understand now why people are addicted to lasers it's because they laser things counter the pack is to be fast and stay far yes and no because what if the thing is faster than you also part of cannons can still be pretty decent at a distance um, the great filter um, if anyone remembers that, I did a weird and wonderful on that thing uh, some time ago. Um, but yeah, that thing has particle cannons that are like good at like 3,000 meters, and it's just because they're so strong. Uh, let's see, you have that. Are you stuck? That dude appears to be stuck, or not. I think the support craft needs to be a lot faster. Uh, let's save the game. Rebellion. There we go. There we go. I do like how we're the underdogs in this. Yes, just in time. Alrighty, ho then. Receiving. Receiving. Let's do this. This is a. This is actually kind of a big fleet. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? We got the Vindictive Class Destroyer, which is uh, about the same cost as the Adeli. Then we've got the Torpedo Cruiser, which shouldn't be that much of a problem because the Adelie is pretty torpedo-proof. And we've got another Vindictive. And yes, I am going to jack this all the way up. Alright, the Adelie goes there. And our friend goes here. And maybe, just maybe, they will torpedo the Adelies a lot. Alrighty. Here goes! <laughs> Vindictives. Oh. You keep saying these things and I haven't encountered them yet. Oh. Now I see. Uh, please don't be hesh. 
That appears to be flak frag. That could be a problem. How flamethrower proof is the Adeli? It's actually pretty flamethrower proof. The armor's quite thick. Yeah, let's, uh... Focus it down, focus it down. Do these guys have a collision? Oh. Oh, hello. Are you torpedoing each other? Torpedoing each other? Yep, so this is what I'm saying. Pretty torpedo proof, so I'm not actually that worried about it. Did you lose a barrel? No, you didn't. Um, please don't collide with me. I would hate that. How big is the Adeli? Pretty big. Oh, don't collide with me, please. I would hate that you're gonna do it. See, why did you do that? Well... And the thing about the Adeli is that this uh, kind of armor is, uh... She's got a lot of armor. She's got a lot of ablative armor. Like, I am loving this flamethrower effect. It's not very effective, but it looks real cool. <laughs> Oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's so fun. Whoop. Shoot him now. Oh, I have an evil idea. You, my friend, head to land. Oh, these guys gonna collide. Oh my god, they're gonna collide. They're gonna collide! Yes! Give each other a hug! Okay. You're not gonna give each other a hug. No, you are. Damn it. Where am I? Oh, wow. Oh, we're gonna accidentally pick a fight. Uh, with something we shouldn't. The Adeli is just tanking this like an absolute champion. If these were heat rounds, we could be in substantially more trouble, but, uh... Thankfully not. You doing anything back there? Nope, okay. Right. We are actually winning. Oh, look at that. That's so, that looks so cool. I don't mind you capturing since I did it in my streams too, yeah. Well, good, thank you. Yep. Oh, so I'm walking straight towards their HQ. Got it, uh, let's head the other way then. Let's uh, head back this way. Wait. Let's just do a brief swim over here since Aperture has given us permission to do a capture. Might just blow this up rather than doing anything else. Hello, is this where your brains are? Uh, that might be ammo. That might be ammo. That was, uh, that was ammo. Um... Yeah, that was, uh, that was the ammo compartment. Uh, we've learned things. We have learned things. Um, yes, we've learned things. Uh, we've learned... Don't shoot at the first heavy armor thing you see. Uh, that's not smart. <laughs> it's not the smartest thing you can do. Oh, please. Yes, hugs, hugs, hugs. Yes, hugs, 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 hugs. Oh. 
Oh, I shouldn't be, like, wishing for that to happen because of, like, goodness knows when my craft do something so stupid as to give each other a nice big hug. I'm very upset all the time. Right, are you back in friendly territory and repairing? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right, you shoot at that thing, please. And the swordfish can finish this guy off. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, that's how it goes. It's like, sometimes you shoot first, ask questions never, and that's a problem. And we're seeing immediately a problem with the generalizer. So yeah, the Adeli is... Oh, damn, don't shoot yourselves, guys. I actually had to remove two of the simple weapons on the side of the turret because, uh... It was a problem. Let's follow this uh, ahem flamethrower around. See where it goes. Now I'm gonna make a 500 millimeter flamethrower. <laughs> Some cute is needed if you violate international law 11. What? Huh? <laughs> I'm having fun. I like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to, like, seeing a uh, meter craft uh, that at this cost would be very dangerous. No offense to the people who made this. Uh, well, there's your Cavalier. Um, but yeah, like, you can you can tell this campaign is meant to be easier than meter. Which is absolutely fine. <laughs> As I suspect, I was a stupid person. We... No. So you keep blowing your own ass off. I might need to adjust this fella to be uh, bread powered. Because it currently seems to have trouble steering. Why do I always do this? Always endlessly moving away from the damn target. Let's see, let's check your broadside settings. Eight hundred. Is it meant to be fun or just completely insane? Well, they definitely are fun. Oh wow. We've almost cut this thing in half. I love these flamethrower tarts. They are so good. I love them. I love them. Why do you keep pissing off into the middle distance? I don't like that. You gonna start turning now? No, you're not. Wait a minute. Damn it! Nope. I think it's because of this. Yeah, looks like I'll have to bread it, but I'll do that in a second. Do, 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 do. You. You're in control. There we 
go. Yes, there we go. And now let us do this. Off and on. Oh, okay. Let's see, does that work? Adelia, what are you doing? Where are you? That didn't appear to work. But that's okay. Alright. Let's see if we can actually capture this thing, because that'll be fun. We could retrofit it into something interesting. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now. Right. You guys turn your guns off, because this thing literally can't hurt you. Can I catch up to it, though, is the question. The answer might surprise you. The answer is no. Let's, uh... Try that again. Uh, turn your guns back on, just so there's a uh, fun sound effects. Let's see, how is the Adeli doing? Adeli is doing terrible. Now. No! Too far! Too far! Like, you, sir, need to stop moving because I need to have your brains. All we want to do is eat your brains. We're not unreasonable. No one's gonna eat your eyes. I don't know where that song is from. Okay, damn it, this thing's too fast. Yes, please, reverse. 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 Reverse towards my delightful mini- No! Come on. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. Damn it. Ah, uh, bugger it. Just shoot it dead, please. Yeah, the Adeli is not being smart. Plants vs. Zombie song? I don't know. Is it? I don't think so. Well, I really don't know, actually. that for now and let's see here what's happening not a hell of a lot to be honest with you but that is improving that main gun doing its thing wait you're not moving anymore everyone stop everyone just stop I think we just flew over it where is it where is ye where is ye ye bastard Ye beautiful bastard. Don't you dare. Don't you friggin... You know, I can give orders to my bloody aircraft, you know. Control is moving out. I can do this. I do have the power. You got the touch! You got the power! Right, now I am going to jump on you and tickle your brains with bullets. There we go. There we go, there we go. 
Right, beef. Oh, right. Now I need to not be a silly person. I need to ascertain exactly. Right, ammo compartment. There's the AI compartment. So I'm just going to excuse me. Use X-ray vision. Yes. Hey Ma, look what I got. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, now what are we doing? Viridian Fleet. Let's have you limp back over here because I might use you for something. Just for giggles. You need to run the hell back home with all that yummy, yummy money, money. And you get to go over there. Actually, you get to go over there and go back over there. And I'm going to... And do this, and I'm going to hop on the Adeli quickly, and you stop right there, and we're just going to chuck a breadboard on you, because I think we just have enough room. Okay, we do not have sufficient bread. Let's see. Actually, we do. Hello, hello. Is there a sonar buoy on this thing? No, there isn't. Okay. Right. And we have a prefab for delicious bread. Prospect of bread. I think this is all we need. Are we sinking? And... Nope. This is... What the hell is this? Alright, so what do we want? We want... Propeller hub, and we want propeller hub, but not gonna even. No, no, no propeller hub goes here, and pitch. And that gets set to pitch angle, and that gets set to your angle. And we just need to hop back over here. Hang on, let's just go here. The friggin'. There we go. Right, so, no, okay, so you just push her, and just push her, just push her, so if I do this, right, uh, these things are actually upside down, which is not okay. Okay, so if I want to go there, I want to go there, I want to go there, if I want to pitch down, there we go, if I want to pitch up, there we go. Right, so that should fix the daily. So let us have you trindle around. See how well you turn now. Oh, you turn so much better. Once you start using bread, it's hard to stop. And look at her, she's even doing a three-point turn. And you can stop now. And I'm just going to set you full steam ahead. I've also, oh yeah, I also added hydrofoils onto her, so to uh, make sure that she uh, goes in the right direction. Come on, you can get to 20 meters per second, easy. Actually, she's a much faster on land. Okay, whatever. That's all fine. That's all good. Save vehicle. Adele. I'll just have to remember next time she's on land. To make sure I record her max speed. She goes over 40 meters per second on land. Thank you, wheels. Future reference fraternity is refit of the rebellion. We're refit of a cargo ship. Okay, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Alright, jolly good, and there's the Viridian fleet, and that's you and you, let's see, what do we got here? We got, oh, a modified speedboat zooms into Karen's crater waving a white flag. When your patrol boat's decepted it, they found a separatist officer who wishes to defect back to your resistance. She claims to be an intelligence officer and warns of an impending attack. 
Just then, your own intelligence officers inform you through phone that a sizable group of armed units are heading towards Rivenstone, most likely to finish you off. Peace with your second in command was impossible. Prepare for battle, and may luck be with you. Neat! Now, where is it coming from? It's coming from somewhere. Right, where are you going? I'm going over there. Uh, we got a lot. Oh, hello. Oh, that capturing got us so much money. Which means we can spawn in uh, probably what's going to be our biggest attack craft for a while, which is just, I just call it the uh, the Caravonian Hydro. Because it's just, it's a hydrofoil. And I just need to remember to do this, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, how much did that cost? Yeah, it's a hundred and sixty thousand materials. There we go. Future refer fan. Northeast. Thank you. Northeast. All right. So it's the attacking force. Okay. Well, uh, let's uh, put you over here and let's uh, let's see. We will meet them. Alright, so the Hydro is definitely not going to be finished in time, but that's okay. Let's see, what is this? Uh, patrol, Manta Class Corvette, Manta Class Corvette. Okay, that's fine. We'll have to, we'll see. And I want to see how well uh, these guys do. Let's have a big fight! Let's you and him fight. Alright, so I don't actually know what these guys are like, so... There we go, and I'm going to command the battle from the swordfish, because that is a good idea. Alrighty, let's see, this is the actual first big fight of... Wait, why did I pause it? That's silly. Begin! Oh yeah. Right, I think these guys basically can't fight whatsoever because they don't have enough, um, they have an active radar and that's it. Also, they're colliding with each other. No worries. Yeah, there's that Manta Class Corvette. Oh, hello, these guys are shooting. Oh, these guys are also shooting, thank goodness. Not very accurately, but still. Yay, fight. Oops, <laughs> oops, oopsie daisy, traffic jam. Yay! Whee! We got these little boats and now we have this monster of a flying laser fish. Uh, just making a mess of things. Beautiful. What is the AI on these guys? Circle at a distance, eh? Whee! Chaos! Wait, who's who? Whoopsie daisy! Whoop! Just enjoy the view from up here. Whee! How do you get so many fighting at once? Well, 
you just uh, you can set this uh, the battle size so I think that actually spawned in extra stuff uh, and it does uh, rely heavily on uh, how good your CPU is Wee beautiful 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 I'm actually quite proud of the swordfish. I've been meaning to make something like this for a long time and uh, never had good results, but this has turned out quite well. I think uh, 4x4 um, laser tetris really helped. Ooh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Uh, you're, uh, you appear to be stuck, sir. You appear to be slightly stuck. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Oh, wait! Yeah, you know what's a good idea? Fleet colors, so you can see what the hell's going on. There we go. And now you must go away. <laughs> I forgot that I'd, like, set fleet colors to, um... To be completely blank, uh, just for... What the hell was... I don't remember even what I should, should be doing. Um... Okay. Yeah, I don't know, like... I don't know. What are what is happening over there? We've got the friggin' clown parade doing stuff. Oh, breadboard thrust vectoring. Oh, so good, so good. It means you can make designs that don't actually work, and they work. Magic, frickin' magic. Oh yeah, if there's any kind of craft you want to see for this, um, see use in this custom campaign. Uh, do let me know. It just occurred to me that it might be fun to make an attack helicopter of some kind. That'd be fun. I definitely need to make a bigger, meaner cargo craft. A giant-ass blimp. I might do that, actually. Just make a giant-ass blimp. Oh, it's nice to play from the depths. And not stupidly limit yourself to, like, literally one of the worst weapon types. Yes, I'm talking about crams. I said it. Thank you. Alright, how are we doing material-wise? We're doing absolutely grand. We're doing grand. We're mostly winning. What's that? Manta class Corvette is doing Manta class Corvette things. This fight is going over here. Yeah, finish this guy off, please. Ooh, bits fell off. Numb. I mean, I could capture this thing, but why would I want to? Why would I capture when I can laser? Oh, you're making me tempted to play... What is the game called? Inside about... Oh, yeah. That's true. Like, within about 1,000 meters, crams are terrifying. Unless the thing is very deep underwater. Or is very small and moves fast or erratically. Or has decent active defenses. And you see, the problem with it now is, like, there's, like... It's good, but... And that but says everything, really. Meet your maker. Oh yeah, right, gotcha. I have so many videos I want to make, which is great. And uh, yeah, I guess meet your maker... I don't know. Uh, could be fun. It could be fun. Yeah, I might, as well, I might as well mention it. It's like when my flatmate moves out, I really want to stream a lot more. Um, like multiple times per week, because live... It's something I forget who it was, but it was one of my uh, Patreon uh, patrons in in the Patreon Discord that I have who pointed out that like I kind of have a live streamer style of content anyway, so I would like to live stream a lot more because it's fun. I like hanging out with people in chat. It is I don't know. It's agreeable. It is agreeable to my sensibilities. Also, it's a reason to get up early in the morning. Which I actually enjoy doing. 
<laughs> oh, now you're beached as well. Life is a beach and then you die. <laughs> Engaging now. <laughs> One, whoa, 101 hours and 10 days. How many hours are in 10 days? 10 times 24. Okay. Wow. That's at least half of the time. <laughs> Whoa, Tolroth. Whoa, remember to eat and sleep, mate. We like you alive. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. But that's what that some games are like that when you really get into them and it just clicks. I'm sad to say that's a rare occurrence for me, uh for the most part. I'm trying to think of the last game in which like I literally couldn't stop. Like, I don't know, I think, like, I don't, it's not the most recent, but yeah, Path of Exile was like that for me when I first played it. It's just like my life ended up revolving around it. Then I hit the end game, and I'm like, well, the fun stopped. <laughs> Actually, that's a game I'd like to livestream as well, Path of Exile. It's great fun. There's so many builds you can do. What about your breadboard ideas? Um, shakes. Like, what, what? Well, the thing is, in order to learn bread, you need to have an objective with bread. And I'm always thinking, like, alright, what do I want to do with bread? Like, well, actually, I'm never thinking about that. I'm just, like, I'm so unambitious with bread. I'm just, like, I'm just, like, well, I've gotten the thrust vectoring down, and that's mostly what I wanted. So, yeah, I don't know, like, what can you do with bread? There's all kinds of groovy things you can do with bread. Tried the new league? Okay, no. I have tried the new league. Uh, this is Path of Exile now. Uh, the Crucible League, it's okay, I guess. It's not amazing. Um, I did actually try playing on Ruthless mode. That is not fun. That You play that if you are a masochist and you know exactly what build you're going for. And, um... It's probably also a lot more fun with more people, actually. That might be a more multiplayer, a party-based focus. Because ye gods, you play that alone, it's quite aggravating. Uh, what about making a custom AI? Yeah, yeah, that's an idea. That is an idea, and I should try that. That's, yeah, the, well, there you go. I'll note that down. Uh... Okay, and let's see here. Oh boy, to do this just keeps getting longer. I should really focus on the action right here. Go. Okay. Stuff. T. Custom. A. I. Red. Cool, hopefully I'll remember that now. My goodness, I love the fish laser. The fact that, like, actually, like, custom jets and lasers are such a good combination, because you can just... Custom jet generators make so much power! And quite efficient power as well, actually. It's jolly good. Alright, so now it's the mopping up. It's gonna be fly swatting from here on out. Wow, what the hell was I following? Okay. Zap, 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 zap. Wow, we've done over a million laser damage during this whole thing. Actually, speaking of lasers, um, I've had an idea floating around in my head, which doesn't mean much, actually, because ideas are cheap. Um, would the game be better if lasers, lasers did explosive uh, damage, like HE damage, rather than their own specific damage type? Because from a physics standpoint, I, that might make more sense. But I'm not sure how it would affect game balance. Do you want to know a cool trick? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, trigonometry. Ooh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Trigonometry makes me sad. <laughs> so sad. So sad. So sad. It's a sad, sad situation. I need to make the engine a smooth scene. 
I mean, yeah, you can do that. There are ships which, well, they have jet turbines. So you just, that's something you can stick up in the superstructure. Where did that come from? Where did what come from? Uh, the flatmate spot, uh, wait, what? Where did that come from? I don't know, it's just, I didn't, um... The thing is, I had a, I had a can of, like, Pepsi Max, and then a cup of coffee, so I'm quite caffeinated now, I'm quite buzzy. Um, I actually drank that Pepsi Max because I didn't want to boil the kettle and wake her up again. Uh, because that's not cool. Trigger's easy. Oh, Gamma. Oh, ho, ho. I agree with you, actually. Like, maths tends to... It is so sad that, um... I don't have, like, I don't know. It's been a long time since I was in school, but, uh, I do remember a lot of subjects that should have been taught a lot better. Just weren't. And, like, you can see the results in the real world as, like, people being... Like, they don't understand science, like how scientific method works. They don't know history, they don't know how s historical method works. And yeah, they suck at math, which makes real problems. Like, anyone who's ever worked in, like, retail or something, when the customer doesn't know basic math, it's just such a headache. <laughs> oh, boy. Laser oh, what, uh, where did that come from? Oh, that's what you meant. I don't know, it's just something, uh... It's just the thing with lasers, it's really annoying how armor, how you can make it just melt armor off so easily. But I guess you could say that smoke and shields are an effective counter to lasers, because they are. Um, also, I kind of like the idea of blowing things up with lasers, and making them more of a specialized uh, zapping... Um, like basically, like a glass cannon counter. Like, if you want to just... Um, make something very fast and evasive and make it, like, have no armor at all. Lasers are just like, nah, -uh, you can't do that. <laughs> Night world. Whoa. Karen arguing that the cash gave her too little chance because she can't count. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Night world. I have never worked in retail, but I always do my very best to be nice to, well, anyone working in customer service, because I've, like... You just, you know, I've got, I've made, I've met a lot of people who've worked that kind of job, and it's just, it can be so terrible, simply because people are so entitled. And, well, stupid. The customer is not always right. Uh, the customer is always right in matters of taste, uh, which is what the saying actually is. But in terms of being right all the time, no, actually. <laughs> actually, I want to see here, how are you lot doing? Uh, not great. I think I'm gonna be scrapping, like, literally all these little bugs. Uh, to the point where we're not even gonna bother repairing them. Alright, so, stop, 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 stop. Don't think they can repair anyway. Wait, where are you? Okay, it's just dolphins, for the most part. Mm, boy. Second CC. Ooh! Awesome! Do let me know when you've done that. Like, I've only just started this one and I'm having a great time. So, mission successful already. Yeah, it's like, man, I, uh, I can barely get started with, like, friggin' like, the custom campaign that, like, I have planned, because I'm just, like, I took one look at the map editor, and I'm like, okay, this scares me, I don't want to break my entire game. Because, um, yeah, just, it just, ugh. Playing From the Depths regularly is hard enough, but that map editor scares me. Because it's Hololive. Oh! What's Hololive again? Is that anime? Are you doing an anime, Aperture? Are you doing an anime? <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be mean about that. Should not be mean about that at all. Right. I'm just going to actually pull all these guys out of play because they're doing literally nothing. Well, most of them anyway. Yay! We have simplified the entire map and now we can see what we're doing. Yay! Hooray for laser gunships! 
Used to work for the company that makes Hello Kitty. Oh, okay. Well, anime YouTubers. Okay. Oh, it's VTubers. Gotcha. You know what? That's fine. Make the stuff that makes you happy. Um. Am I am I naughty for saying that VTubers creep me out slightly? It's like, I don't know. It's like it's not a big jump in logic to go from regular like let's plays and stuff like that to to VTubers, but there's something that makes me uncomfortable about it that I can never quite put my finger on. Yeah. Oh no, no. Okay. Oh, I mean, we can do that. Like, I've seen that done. We could do that. I could have just a talking sooty. Just in the corner. I need to look up how to do it. Damn it! My to-do list just keeps getting longer. Like, I still gotta get that friggin' IT certification just in case my life goes tits up. Like, I mean, completely tits up. As opposed to just semi-tits up. Actually thinking, like, isn't tits down more uncomfortable than tits up? I don't know. I don't know. I don't pretend to know. Might need higher DPS. Oh, yeah, true. True, true, true. Yeah. Uh, which conversation? Oh, the titties are on. Right, gotcha. We will not talk about... <laughs> we'll not talk about titties. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I should really learn to keep my mouth shut. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Borderwise the VTuber. A soot demon out for the soul. I mean, Sooty is meant to be a friendly, um, eldritch abomination. That is his job. His, her, their, genderless lump. <laughs> I hope I don't get banned for that. Oh, boy. Oh, hello. What are you doing? You. Oh, battleship. Holy battleship. Um, hmm. Moving up. You gotta move over there. Alright, so. Just gonna scrap all these guys because uh, they are kind of useless. No offense to the person who made them, but I think that's the point of them. They're meant to be, like, not good. And. Manta class Corvette as well. I think we straight up lost a Manta class Corvette. Alright, and Flying Marlin support Zeppelin. You go over there. Come back over here. And I think we can spawn in. Whoopsie daisy. Port Reverstone is really nice though. It's nice that it's a. Uh, a nice big starting base. Right, let us go here and spawn in. We need to spawn in another, what do you call it? We need to spawn in another laser thingy. I named the thing and I don't remember what it's called. Alrighty, so now we've got to. Oh, 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 let's save the campaign first. Wait, an amphibious tank can take on a battleship, right? That's, um, that's something that can totally happen. Uh, this guy's kind of big. <laughs> Flank them. And let's do that. There's no way that, like, uh, this will end badly. Wee. Slow ship in the CC. Oh boy. Let's see here. How you doing? Uh, not great. There goes the side armor. Whoopsies! I think that's heat as well. Yep, it is. Uh-oh. 
Run, little penguin! Run up on land! What are you doing? No! Go that way! Deacon's Christmas, okay. Ooh, boy. Well, at least we're poking holes in it with lasers. Oh no, poor little penguin. Poor little penguin. Tank of a spare pair of brown pants, it might need them. Oh yeah. Ooh. Let's see, how are you doing, sir? Not great. <laughs> oh, jeez, thank goodness for how thick that armor is. Come on, you just need to crawl up on land and hide behind a hill. Come on, you can do it, little penguin. I believe in you. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Hide, you little treasure. Come on, go, 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 go. Yes, 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 yes. Up you go. Up the hill. You can do it. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Climbing ability not good. No, climbing ability fine. You can do it. 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 This is how we do it. Yes! Yes! Safety! Delicious safety! <laughs> um, Alright, now you, sir, please do not fly over land. Well, fly into land, rather. That would be bad. Okay, can I land on this battleship? I can! Whee! Perfect! <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm taking you. Oh, you are mine! You are 100% mine. You are slow enough that I can just sit on your face. Um, don't take that out of context. And let's just go there. And you... Engaging now. Do that. Whoopsie daisy. Just gonna trim your props quickly. There we go. Don't run away from me. I have plans for you. Alright. Quickly pause the game. Find the heavy armor compartment. That is ammunition. Don't pop that. Hello. Oh, I love it when a ship is laid out. Nice and well. For the purposes of me blowing its brains out. I always say I'm never going to freaking do capturing. And then what do I do? I do capturing. What the? Something exploded. Hello. Mom, look what I got. <laughs> Oh, that feels like cheating, but um, at the same time, I just scored a battleship way ahead of schedule. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, this is such fun. I don't think I realized how much I missed uh, doing campaign streams, because there's such a hoot. There's such a hoot! It is actually like, I've always kind of thought that the capturing in From the Depths was not a necessary mechanic, but like I can see now, like it is a good fallback option. Um, to, because the game's so friggin' complicated, it's easy to end up in unwinnable situations if you don't capture things. This is going commando. Yep, well, you know what? You are right. Absolutely right. Okay, so you, my friend. Oh boy. Where the- what the hell? Where is everyone?
How did you end up here? Alright, you can just go away for the moment. Oops. Oh, look at that block confetti. Look at that block confetti! Capturing the fun situation. Well, yeah, that's the first thing. If we're going to play around with it and retrofit it, uh, we absolutely need to... We absolutely need to change things. And I'll do that in my own time. Um, retrofit. Captured. CC craft. And what do we got? Uh, we got... Well, I can't see right now. Maybe, uh oh, you are almost out of materials. Um... <coughs> what are our battle end options? I'll lose the battleship, that's not good. Um... see, can we Somali pirate this guy? We cannot... Hold on, do I have commodities? Okay. Turn the lasers back on. Why are you running out of stuff? Is it because the friggin' Adeli was taking all the resources? Do you think I need more DPS? Actually, I, I think I am going to end it now. Because, like, you know, end... Let's see, what do we got? We got problems. Receiving. Well, I still got you. Moving now. And, uh, yeah, let us, uh... You're going to go over there, and then you're going to limp back home. Moving out. Like so. Phew, okay. Hey, hello, Monk Lizard. So, listen, why does that have the sacred knowledge of Warp Jitsu? No, unfortunately. Receiving. Also, I really need to add more material storage to that friggin' Adeli. Receiving. Moving. 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 Alright, let's see here. What do we got? We have a lot of money. We can't rebuild the Corsairs class yet. See, and that guy is only 50%. I really need to friggin'. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Let us. Let's, Let's just do this quickly. Whoopsie daisy. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. And let's get you back up to speed. Epic music for that. Okay, yep, that will do. Save vehicle as the flying marlin. Pull, pull all and retrofit all. Build a block in the chair, but another ship then add a chair. Oh, oh, that warp jitsu. Oh, that's clever. Okay. Right, hopefully this builds a lot faster now. Receiving. 
Okay, we got that, we got that, and I'm just going to sneakily sneak out there. Okay, and you are over there, and I want to finish these guys off. Oh, that's building so much faster, that's so nice. How fast is this? This guy is a lot faster. Okay, so we've had a minor setback. Whoopsie daisy. We've had minor setbacks, but it's okay. And we'll just do... We'll just finish these guys off quickly. We will finish them off now that we're refueled. And uh, then we will probably call it a day. Ho then, let the lasering recommence. Do, 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 do. Need to sleep. Uh, yeah, don't feel you need to stay up and like screw up your sleeping cycle after the stream uh, will end soon anyway. So you've been super helpful, and oh, thank you for making this custom campaign. It's already very good. Sorry it took so long for me to get around to it. Let's see here. Also, you're taking me blowing up uh, the craft you made very well. <laughs> Gonna stay up a little bit. I mean, it's only if you want to. Like, uh, the stream won't be going for that much longer. About another ten minutes or so. Or maybe just we'll finish cooking these Corvettes. <gasps> oh, hello. Hello, hello, are these fellas out of materials? Can I do a Somali pirate? I think I can. I think I can. Dumpty Dumpty too. All I have to do is not get my things shot. Oh, goodness. Wait a minute. Gotta find it. Gotta find it. Gotta find it. Gotta find it. You want your belly scratched, apparently. Whoops! Almost got hit in the face. Uh, hang on. Let's find your brains. Your brains are. That's an engine. Hello. Hello. Your brains are somewhat exposed already. I fell in the water. Damn it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Why is gravity... Screw it. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Hello, me. When in doubt, shoot everything. Right, you are now there. Alright, warp jitsu, you say. Let's try this. And oh, that is a man! <laughs> oh, thank you, warp jutsu. I never Spanish pirate. Well, I mean, Spanish pirates don't have mini guns. At least, I don't think so. Do they? Modern Spanish pirates might. Where the hell am I? Okay. Nope, I'm going in the wrong direction. Seems like I'm never running in the wrong direction. Whoopsie daisy, I did it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Nailed it. Okay, you head back over there. And we got five minutes left. What is that? Rebellion Cross Light Cruiser. I'm going to... You are going to be an escort over there. Actually, I'm going to scrap you right where you are. So you stop wasting everyone's time. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Really need to make a faster support craft. 
And you go moving out, moving out, over moving there out. actually to refuel. Moving out. And Receiving. you go over moving there, out. so I know you're there. And you are not quite done yet, but that's okay. And let's speed up time a little bit. Um, moving out. What is that? Moving out. 1815. That's right where we are, isn't it? Uh, where's the Adeli? Uh, the Adeli has no friggin' materials, which is frustrating. Okay, go over there. Go num 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 num. Num 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 num. They detect a Spanish warship, so. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, like... Somali pirates are, like, simultaneously really scary, but also it's like... Uh, most pirates, like, throughout all history, did so out of desperation, not because they were criminal geniuses, so... It sucks, I guess. Alright, let's send you two over there. And I'm just gonna fast-forward time a little bit. Actually, I want to put more material storage on the Adeli because that's always something I forget to do enough craft. Uh, let's do this. Let's just do this. There we go. <laughs> Bing, good noise. There we go. Now you have lots of material storage. Turn that on. Just full steam ahead. Get up to at least 13 meters per second. Preferably more. Oh, you know what? There's a cheat for this. Or not, okay, that's fine. There we go. That will do. Save the Adeli. This is how it goes with campaigns. Uh, what else can we got? Library on a ship. Got a good number. Okay, see you, Retric. I think that'll do for this stream. Let's just finish capturing this tile. And, oh. What is a Kremsey last light cruiser thingy? Ooh, hello. Shall we troll people with multiple so I'm actually scared to use both of these guys at once. Um, so I'm just going to send you over there. Okay. Yeah, I think that that will do for the stream because now it's going to be a quiet period again. It's going to be a little quiet period. And we'll sit here on the Adeli. Yay, screenshot. Alright, that'll do. Alright, thank you, Ichwurzel. Alright, thank you everyone for the first uh, live stream of the Caravonian Rebellion. Thank you, Aperture, uh, for making this custom campaign. Jacavalier and others for helping out with the campaign. And usual end of stream stuff. Oh yeah, quiet period. That does sound like a movie title. But anyway, usual uh, stream stuff. Uh, like and follow and subscribe on both YouTube and Twitch. I've written a book, it is called Two of Rogues. You will find it in the video description if you're watching the VOD on YouTube. And if not, Google that, because it's the first thing that pop up, thankfully. And uh, yeah, I will see you next week. We're going to carry on with this campaign because it's so much fun and we should hopefully have new toys by the time we come back to this. So, thank you all so much. Have a good day, slash night, slash evening, slash morning. And I will see you next week. Farewell.